Okay, guys, now I'm going to teach you how to set up the switches within FS UIPC with the macros. First of all, we have two add ons FS UIPC. Here, we have to go to the button and switches tabs. Let me get a little bit of a close up here for you guys, okay? There we go. So we can see here the buttons and switches. So let's click one switch. In this case, it's one of the, the trim wheels. And I see you have to select select for FS control. Why? Because once you select for FS control, this activates the menu, this menu, okay? So right now we're gonna assign our first switch, which is going to be the control wheel. So we go all the way down to W and we're gonna select the macro we had Lars made for us. Thank you so much, Lars. There we go. Wheel, and we have wheel forward. Okay, so we click on wheel forward, control repeat while held, and we said okay. Okay, see? It's gonna start moving. That's gonna disconnect our autopilot. So this is how you, you set the, the trim wheel. Let me put the autopilot back again. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we want to set the the other trim wheels okay so for back right so we click here on the switch get here and see what we get here select for fs control wheel reverse wheel and control to repeat while held this is how we set up our trim wheels okay put okay take off a pause and boom there it's going back see you guys Autopilot disconnected once again, of course. So we go to FSUI PC, and now we're gonna set the engine since we need to start our engine back again. Let's set the engine. So here's the engine, throw it back to off, throw it back to on, at the switch, and there we go. Here we select once again for FS control, and then we're gonna use the macros. So the macros is gonna be listed in this case at the beginning where it says custom controls, it says A320 engine one, A320 engine one. So you click A320 engine one, parameter zero, control sent one button release, the same thing, and we press okay. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna shut down my engine. Okay, since in order to start the engine, let me take the pause. We need our ignition, we're gonna set up our ignition. So we go again to the FSUI PC, buttons and switches, oh, that's my ignition, and we go once again, select for FS control, go to engine mode start. So engine mode start, it's on the first one, and control send when button release, engine mode normal, okay? So, we press, we return the switch back, press OK, and take off the pause, and now you'll see, guys, see? There it is, it's been activated. Okay, so we're gonna start the engine again. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. Okay, and it should start our engine. Let me see if we can get my end. Let me see if starting. Yep, engine should be starting now. Sorry, parking brake has to be enough. There it is enough. And then he's, uh, there he's starting the engine. That's how we set up the engines. Okay, now, since we have the parking brake on, we're gonna go to the parking brake now. So, go to add-ons. This is UIPC. Buttons and switches. And we move a parking brake. There we go. Parking brake is moved. Okay, move the parking brake. In this case, we don't need, need a special macro for this. We use an FSUIPC assignment. We said parking brakes. And again, control send when button release, parking brakes. Why? Because we're gonna press parking brake twice in order to activate it on and off. So you go back, put it in off. It's already said. We'll do okay. So we're gonna release it here. There we go. Okay, so now that parking brake is set, we are going to go again, FSU IPC, buttons and switches, and we're going to try the rubber trim. So put the right one here. So 
oh, hold on guys, let me set up the camera again. Okay, there we go. See, brother trim right. This is also a normal offset of FSUI PC. Control to repeat while held and control send. When button release, rudder trim set. What does this mean? When you operate the rudder trim, you have to, once you stop switching it, it should go back to the rudder trim setting, which it was. So let me, let me take the autopilot off here for a second and we'll operate the rudder trim. Let me throw the thrust levers here. There we go. See, see you guys, there is a rudder trim operating okay now we're gonna set up to the other side so we go the same buttons and switches we set the switch switch is detected and here we go rudder trim left control to repeat while held rudder trim set we press ok and take off the pause sorry about that there we go and there we go. See, we go back from right all the way to left. Okay, guys. So, let me see what else we have missing. Yep, let's talk about now the speed brake arm. So, see the speed brake. Once I start using the speed brake, and I hit the switch here, it will arm automatically. See, hit the switch, it will arm automatically the parking brake. If you don't want to have it arm, you just press it again, open it up, and just retract it without hitting the switch. And that should let the, the, the speed brakes not be armed. Okay, so in order to cheat the arming, there's your IPC. So buttons and switches. We click the switch, and we use spoilers arm toggle, and Control send when button release, spoiler set. So you go here, spoiler set. These are also FSU IPC controls. Press OK. And take the pause off. OK. See you guys. I hit the switch and it gets armed. OK. So this is how you set up your A320 Flybox throttle from Throttle Tech. The rest of the switches, you can assign them yourself by making your own macros or try to look for the FSU IPC settings. I hope this video helped out. Hope you enjoy your A320 flight box. And any doubts, any questions, always, always mail me. I'm here to help you. Have a great day.